this is the last video in the series on how to make a didgeridoo and uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, decorate this didgeridoo with some nice uh, paint on it and and so forth so that it doesn't look so bare like it is right now unless this is what you like um, so my plan is to uh, Paint this portion from the mouthpiece to about here black and do the same thing on the belt side uh, where I go make it black on, on, the, on the rim here and then till about half a foot you know uh, of black with some decorative uh, colored rings and then uh, I'm gonna make the, the rest uh, kind of orange brown with a little bit of antiquing in it and then when all that is cured you take clear spray and spray over it to seal it so that's what I'll do so Right now I'm preparing to tape this the inside of the bore off and I made a pencil mark there where I'm going to put the tape uh, so that I only uh, the so that the black paint will be only here uh, on the, on the on the edge. So of course the pencil mark is done by holding your finger like this and then scribing it. So I've taped the inside and before you, before you paint it make sure that the tape is really adhering good so that you don't get no intrusion of the paint over the, uh, over the line. So I'm going to add some more uh, tapes here so to know exactly where how far to go I'll make another I'll make another scribe line. See? See there. So I know exactly where to put this masking tape here. Then, to make it even prettier, this is decorative tape, but I'm not going to use it for decoration. I'm just going to use it to mask off some more areas here. I'm kind of eyeballing this in. Here. 
reposition this tape. So it's going to be black here, white, black, white, and then black. Okay, I'm using a ruler to uh, mark out where I'm going to put the other tape. I set it at 24 centimeters. So, take my tape. And line it up with that. So let's do this part first. I'm using uh, <clears throat> acrylic paint. You can buy these little bottles in the arts and crafts stores. It's going to be black. So, like I say, make sure that the tape didn't come off or loosened up before you paint it. So that's So once you got this ditch all painted, the paint will dry to a dull uh, color, I mean a dull sheen, and then you have to seal it, and usually what I do is you buy uh, this clear spray comes in the bottle and you can buy the uh, satin sh satin sheen or or the uh, the shiny and that really brings the colors out and it seals the whole ditch and Makes it waterproof, the paint won't come off. I'm using a, 
a scribe here to uh, mark where I'm going to put the other tape. Just rotate it. It's not perfect, but gives me some idea about this. distance to the other tape. Now we'll do the similar thing over here. Okay, here it is still taped up. And this side too, still wet. But I think I can take the tape off the uh, bell side. Uh, not perfect. Gonna bleed through. So let's see where the end is. Hard to find the end. There it is. Well, that's roughly the start. Because I can add colors here or whatever I was thinking of adding colors here adding colors here to to make it more interesting we'll see in the beginning of this uh, video part 11 I said that this would be the last video but I'm not quite done decorating yet so uh, there will be a, a part 12.